Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are so excited that this morning we are going to show you guys how to make bread. Woo! Bread, our favorite thing. It's so much easier than you think. The majority of the time is spent letting the bread, letting the dough rise. So we're going to get right into it. Okay, you guys. So we are going to attempt to make a healthy bread. We are going to go for a white whole wheat. I've never done a straight white whole wheat. I usually mix in a little bit of white flour as well, but this time we are not. We are gonna attempt this healthy version. If you need a recap on why I like whole wheat flours better than a straight white, you can go back to my vegan banana pancake recipe and you can hear my little spiel uh, with a very brief overview on why whole wheat flour is just gonna be a bit healthier. If this is your first time making bread, use a straight white flour. <laughs> it's pretty much foolproof. You can't go wrong. You really can't mess it up. If you're... Okay, we good? If you're using a straight white flour, you really don't even need to knead... <laughs> That's a door. You don't have to knead your bread. You literally can just roll it up a bit and let it rise. Because we are using this white whole wheat, I'm using this one by King Arthur, I love this brand. We're gonna need ours. We're gonna have to need ours a lot to develop that gluten. So, sorry, wow, I talk, I talk a lot. Okay, I'm revamping an old recipe I had. This is gonna be the first time we do it this way. We are gonna do three cups of flour. No! All right, go ahead. But we like to eat it. Pour that in. Good job. Done, done, done. Nice. Okay, you're gonna do the second cup. You've got a lot of toys today out. Because we love toys. Yeah, I'm well aware. Another cup. This is not very many, not very many, not very many. Oh, why would you dump it up so high? You know better than that. You <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Three, three ish cups of flour. All right, last one. I'll do. This is it's only four ingredients, I believe. Okay, so all that's gonna go in this bowl is flour and salt. I'm just gonna use some Himalayan pink salt here. With a white whole wheat, you want it to be salty. These are gonna taste a little bland if we don't use enough salt. So I think I'm actually gonna do two full teaspoons of salt here. That's pink. Yeah, it is pink, it is pink salt. You can use any kind of salt you want. Close to the bowl, nice. Stir? You stir that, now you're gonna pour the next one. And then I'm probably gonna even add some sea salt to the top. You wanna try to get that in the bowl too. Okay, so we have our flour and our salt in here. All we're gonna add, I'm gonna do it in here so you guys can see it. We're gonna do one and a half cups of warm water. We, I am gonna show you how to activate your yeast, just making sure that it's alive and that it's gonna work. You do not have to do this. I'm just doing it to show you guys. It's actually kind of cool. I'm sort of a, gonna geek out when, when it starts foaming and frothing on the top. I'm gonna use one and a half cups of warm water. If you use hot water, it could kill the yeast, so make sure it's not too hot. I'm using a packet of active dry yeast. Can I pour it? I yep. want to. You can pour it in. And we're just going to activate it with a little sugar. Oh, the whole thing can oh. go. Okay, so we've got our yeast in here. And I'm just going to put in one and a half tablespoons of sugar to activate it. I'm actually going to grab the camera so you guys can see what happens. So you know that your yeast is working That's and alive. Sparkly. We have proofed our uh, yeast, it's active. It sat here for about five minutes. You can let it sit for five to ten minutes in the warm water. There's five ingredients in this bread. It's flour, salt, uh, yeast, water, and sugar. That's all it is. If you use a straight white flour, you are not going to be able to mess this up. I promise you. We'll see how this goes with our white whole wheat. We're going to try. We're going to try to make a super healthy bread. Can I pour it in? Okay, you want to pour it in? We're just going to pour our wet into our dry. Just be real careful that it all gets in the bowl. Perfect. All of it in. Okay, and then you're just going to give it a stir so that it all comes together. This is our first go with a microphone. So we're going to, there was only two in the pack. 
This is gonna make you crazy loud. You're already very loud, so you don't need a microphone. Okay, guys. Now, because I'm using the white whole wheat, hold on. I am going to use a KitchenAid with a hook. I'm going to need it for about 10 minutes. You don't need a KitchenAid to do this. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so because we're, this is what our dough looks like right now. I'm still trying to get all the flour incorporated. Because we're using a straight white whole wheat, I am gonna use a KitchenAid with a hook. And I'm gonna knead this for about 10 minutes. You do not need a KitchenAid, especially if you're using white flour. Again, you don't even need to really knead it. But with the white whole wheat, it really needs to be very well kneaded. So instead of us sitting here laboring for 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna put this right in the KitchenAid and we'll be back in a little bit. Gosh, can you imagine if this fell? Okay, you guys, I am back. I have my dough here. It has been kneaded for about, I didn't do the, the full 10 minutes. I did about six or seven minutes. I am actually going to split this in half. I'm gonna make a flatbread and a loaf. All you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna make sure that you can grab this into a ball. All you're gonna do once it's in a ball like this is you're gonna put a piece of saran wrap over it. I like to put a towel over it to keep it nice and warm, keep a draft out, and you're gonna put this somewhere, the warmest place you can think of in your house, and you're gonna let it rise for a few hours. It doesn't need much. Anywhere between, I'd say, two and three hours. If you're going out to run errands or you're not gonna be around for a bit, the longer the better, that's fine. Like I said, I'm gonna split mine. I'm gonna put it into two bowls because I'm gonna roll out one for a flatbread. There you have it. So easy. See you soon. Okay, guys, I am back. The kids are playing nicely, so I'm not gonna disturb them. I'm just quickly going to show you the dough that I let rise for about, it's been about three hours. It probably could honestly use a little longer, but I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out of here. I do have a Dutch oven. I'm not going to use it because I want to show you guys, you can literally just put this on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper and bake it and it comes out fine. So I'm not going to use my Dutch oven. So I'm just going to get this out of here. I'm just going to pop this in the oven at 400 for, it's gonna be about a half an hour, maybe a little less. Don't forget, I did split this in half. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, so while that other dough bakes, I took this half, it's not quite half, it's probably like a third. I am just gonna roll this out to make a bit of flatbread so that we have two different types of bread. It still feels really nice. I'm just gonna roll it out as flat as I can get it, put a little bit of olive oil on it and bake it, and I might just eat it as is, or I might put some cheese on it for the kids, turn it into kind of like a pizza crust. Didn't add too much more flour, because I didn't wanna ruin the consistency of this dough here. Kind of gonna pinch the ends around here. You could really just, you could dip this in sauce or a dip like a hummus, olive oil with pepper and salt. Okay. I'm gonna brush it with a little olive oil. I have this yummy olive oil from Italy that my parents brought back for me when they went. I'm just gonna give it a quick little brush here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt on the top. With a white whole wheat bread, it does come out a little blander, usually. So you do wanna salt in it. Salt in? No. You do wanna salt it. Okay, this one is only gonna need about 10 to 12 minutes. Maybe not even, somewhere between eight. I'm gonna watch it very carefully since I upped the temperature on the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in as well. And I'll be back in a bit with the kids to taste test. Okay, you guys, so this is where my mic isn't turned on and you cannot hear my voice. Instead of attempting a voiceover, I'm just gonna summarize what I'm saying here and how this flatbread turned out. Max went to go take a humongous knife Max was requesting granola butter, which I didn't end up putting on this. It was so good. I ate the entire flatbread in 
the first day. I ate it all that night. You can open it. I kind of show you how you can open it and make it into a pita. The texture was so good. The flavor was so amazing. Mia loved it too. Max loved it too. It just has some olive oil and some sea salt on it. At first when I took it out, I think I thought it should have been cooked a little longer, but it actually was perfect. I actually left it out on the counter like all day because we were running out somewhere. And when I came back, I ate the rest at night and it was still really good. I didn't even put it in the fridge or anything like that. Sometimes like with a, a whole wheat bread, you can really taste that wheat flavor. You could not. So I will reiterate this. Knead your white whole wheat or your whole wheat or your wheat grain flours. Okay, we're back here with the loaf. I'm just telling you guys here that we baked ours for about 25 minutes and it wasn't quite done. I did go ahead and put it back in the oven for a bit. So go ahead and, and set the timer for 30 minutes. Check it at the 30 minute mark. You can always put it back in the oven if you need to. Some ovens will require probably a little longer even. But this bread was so delicious. I am so proud of this loaf. We used it all week. We kept it in the fridge. It stayed well. We used it for sandwiches, for just dipping. Mia put cream cheese on it and had it like a bagel one day. It was really good. So I hope you guys do attempt this recipe. It's not scary. Let us know if you did, how it went for you, if you tried a whole week. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And we'll see you guys back here next time. Have a good day.